Guys, today I'm rebuilding a team in Sweden, AEAIK Football, their name is. I've not heard of this team before, but one more of my subscribers asking me to do it this team again and again. I thought, let's try it out. And it looks like they've only two stars, and Malmo is the best team in the league with three stars, but it's not going to be as hard as you think because this league it has not got many good teams Malmo with three stars is the best team we've got two st uh, two stars this team is actually over uh, a century old 1891 this team was built and has won 12 champions championships uh, Swedish championship that is and eight domestic cups the kit is absolutely fantastic club worth is nearly 19 million dollars and we've got f nearly 6 million to spend. Let's go to the career mode and see how they play out with me. Without further delay, we have Guys, AIK football the revealing their manager, expert Khan. He's looking up a and he's looking anxious at the same time, thinking how hard this league is going to be for him. Guys, before we do anything, let's get to the team and see where we need improvement. We've got a decent team, to be fair. Some in 70s and some... Yeah, some just above 65. So we definitely need to take away all the players below 65 in order to even compete for the title. The finish was second bottom last season in IRL. But now we need to improve this team in order to get into European football for next season. Guys, first signing of the new season with IE, uh, AIK football. It is Frick, the star man, Swedish international, 29 years of age. Let's check how much is overall is the first handshake and first training session in the new club. Ooh, he's 68. That is decent, to be honest. He is going to be starting up front instead of Farage. Ooh, we've, uh, we've been given decent buy only, but not to bother. He is one f to keep for another couple of seasons. Guys, we've got a small shortlist of the players that we can sign this season. We've already signed one and you know the drill, guys. We can only sign three players per summer transfer window and one in the January transfer window. Let's see who we can actually go for. We've got uh, Artem Dov Dovbik in our shortlist. He's a striker. We actually signed a striker. Let's go for Gallardo, the Mexican 27-year-old left back. Guys, we managed to sign in Jesus Gallardo. He is a Mexican. Excellent deal, by the way. His overall is 67. That is perfect for a left back. Or we can even push him up higher up the pitch. Another free agent, guys. Luis Chavez. I think he's Mexican too. And he's a free agent. Excellent deal. We've signed him on for, I think, 70,000 per week. He's 78 or in the center of the park. That is absolutely massive upgrade from Magashi. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. 16 million is worth. That is absolutely brilliant. Now let's go and check the team and make the required changes. Cassie is going to replace Chavez. Guys, this is the first 11, starting 11, going into the first season with AIK football. Freak is the new sign of front, Gallardo and Chavez in the center of the park. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why Gallardo is not happy, but let's go to the first game of the season. Oh, it's Freak, new man. Is he going to shoot his keeper? <laughs> not convincingly saving that. And chance for Hussein shoots and straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Don't score past him, guys. Oh, great block. Oh, what a save out for a corner. Godziete, he passes on to Frick. He's got the chance. Oh, he pulls it in. Scores. No, what a save by the goalkeeper. Oh, final result. Guidetti with the hat trick in the first game. Three goals for him, three goals for AIK, and three points to AIK. What a start to the new season. Guys, that cup game and stuff in September. In April, sorry, we are in the second month of the season. Malmo versus AIK. I have been told the two Malmo as well, so that's probably one of the next teams I'm going to do in FIFA career mode. But now let's go to the kickoff. Oh, Charles for Nas Nanasi. Is he always oh, got skills? Oh, the keeper has been beaten. I think it was sort of a lob. Not quite sure. He went up in slow motion. Keeper should be doing better, anyways. Oh, chance again for Kese. Is he going to cross it in? No, he doesn't penna. He's been the best man on the pitch. And what a save by Nordfeld. Kessai again. Malmo really pressing back uh, the moment and wide of the target. Five minutes at half time. 
Oh, we have been beaten 3-1. Guy Detti got one back, but Christensen added another 3-1 to Malmo in the cup. Guys, almost at the halfway point on the state uh, season, we've got a game against one of the tougher teams in the league, and it's called Haken. But before we go to the game, guys, let me show you the table. Look at that. With no defeats, 11 games into the new season, 12 for the rest of the table. Not, not only two teams have played 12, but 11 games into the season, zero defeats. Remember, guys, what I said in the Chelsea rebuild, I have never gone a season without a defeat. So I've never been invincible. Chelsea was 36 games and the defeat came against Wolves. This could be it, guys. But long way to go, guys. And still one point behind Joe Gardens IF. And a game in hand as well. Guys, a huge game in Swedish football. One of the tougher teams comes to AIK Football Arena. And this could be another three points or a tough defeat. They are currently mathematically top of the table but they want to keep their ground intact or else they will crumble very fast let's go to the kickoff oh chance for Sadiq is he gonna cross it in he's showed his speed and what's keeper doing should be holding on to that oh it's tail has he got the chance to shoot it does keeper makes an outstanding save out for the corner Oh, chance for Gadetti. He's been the top scorer. Is he going to score this one? And he does. He slots it in. 1 0 to AIK. And hoping that they can hold on to this one. Long way to go, guys. But still, we have to win this game in order to pile pressure on Malmo and Ju. Oh, great skill by Gadetti. He's into the box. Is he going to pass it across? He should. And it's freak. 2-0 to AIK, what a skill on the halfway line by Kai Detsi and he took the defender on as if he's not there, 360 turn and then just runs into the box, passes across the face of the goal, Freak gets his goal as well today, what a duel from no one really marking the Swedish international. And final result, 5-1, Frick with the hat-trick, and Hussein got one in the second half. Larson got one back in the 89 minute, but that is very, very little too, too late. Guys, surprise, surprise, we are in Europa Conference League. I didn't know that that is a chance to win a European trophy. We've got Poznan and Villarreal, and... Uh, a team from Austria, I think it's Austria Vienna. Yes, it is. We played them in the previous uh, uh, career mode with who was it with? I'm not quite sure with Austrian League. Who was it that I took to the Austrian League? Yeah, Dynamo Zagreb it was. We won the league and the cup with the Zagreb. Chance here to win the European Cup. I'm, I wasn't I'm surprised that we are in Europa League in the first season. Guys, in September and already in Europa League in the first Europa Conference League in the first season. Next game in the league is against Malmo. But before that, let's go check the table. I assume we are still unbeaten. 18 games into the league. Five points ahead of you. Gardens in top of the table. Malmo struggling with 11 points behind us no defeat so far 12 games more remaining hopefully we can keep this pressure up and win the league in i think over six seasons they've not won the league in over yeah they were so close in 2021 but malmo snatched it in the very end yeah, so Malmo's been really tough for AIK always in the past it's been more than a decade since AIK actually won the league as 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 for as for my records in front of me so this could be the chance and they could win it unbeaten guys into a massive rivalry AIK versus Malmo one of the fiercest rivalries in Swedish football here's Till he's got the chance is he gonna cross it in who's in the box he's freaking the box and it is 1-0 to AIK what a start what a start for the Stockholm team 1-0 up against Malmo. And here's the summer signing. Freak with the goal. Oh, it's Freak again. Is he going to score? He tries lobbing the goalkeeper. He does. Fantastic goal by the summer signing. Swedish international scores. Another goal for AIK Stockholm. And what a goal this is. 2-0.
Oh, final result, Nanasi with the two goals for Malmo and points dropped for AIK. So guys, we simulated all the way to December and look at the results we've got. We've been beaten twice in the league and uh, that is another unbeaten run in an uh, incumbent. Uh, incomplete I should say and in the Europa Conference League last game against Villarreal we have to beat them let's go check the table yeah we have to beat them in order to qualify for the next round and take Villarreal out of the equation and it's, it looks like at the moment that we won the league with 30 games but sometimes these European leagues have extra league end of the season not quite sure but we won it all on 64 points where did this come from? IFK not copying, come from nowhere and managed to get 64 points each or so draw or lost points in the last few games. We lost three, two games in the last, two out of the last three games and uh, not so something we were expecting but we have lost a non beaten run this season. Guys, this is a fantastic game in, uh, at Stadio de la Keramica away to Villarreal. Let's go to the game. Guys, players are making their way onto the pitch for the very last time in European football. If AIK don't win their game today, they are going back home with nothing. Same goes to Villarreal. They have to at least get a draw to secure their spot for the qualifying rounds for the knockout stages of the Conference League. 90 minutes to tell us what will happen next. Let's go to the kickoff. Oh, chance for Freak. Is he going to score? What a save from the goalkeeper, Pepe Reina. Former Liverpool man. He's, already, he's won the Champions League as well. And a few FA Cups. What a keeper he was at the time at Liverpool. But what a save. And we come Villarreal. The Salso, former Tottenham Hotspur man. Is Ivan Tony playing for Villarreal, surprisingly? And they have a free kick. Danny Parejo on the ball. Hussein wins it, is Guy Detsi, he's been the man for IKK, can he score? Yes, they have! Oh, Reina, Pepe Reina has been punished, poor kick from him and the AIK Stockholm have taken the lead against Villarreal away from home, they have to win to proceed into the knock rounds and winning is what they're doing, Pepe Reina, poor kick, oh, Ivan Tony is up against the keeper, oh, shoes! Oh, I think that's a foul at the back. No, actually, half time. One nil to Stockholm. AIK really pushing and piling pressure on Villarreal, who are heading towards the exit door. The pace, Gaidetti. Oh, is he gonna pass it across? Is he gonna pass it across? Freaks. Oh, was he done? The easiest chance all season he'll have, and he puts it over the bar. Pepe Reina was beaten. Less than 10 minutes remaining. Chance for Freak. He's beaten his man. He has beaten his man. He's got pace. Shoots with the left foot. Reina is beaten. Villarreal should be stepping into the uh, next round of the Conference League. It is Freak. He scores after squandering his chance early in the half. Per Freak with the goal. 2-0 to AIK Stockholm. And final result. 3-0. Guy Detti with the third goal for AIK. Deep in the game. 85th minute on the clock. It was 3-0. So AIK they get three points they top the group I think and I hope so and they are marching on to the next round guys a huge game hopefully we win this one we are up at home against Arsenal hopefully we can get at least a draw oh three two that is absolutely fantastic we can go to the Emirates and actually take three uh, take a uh, win uh, Papa Giannacopoulos scored 85th minute, Gabriel Jesus scored in the 89th minute, Chavez scored, the equaliser Jesus scored early in the game, 3-2 to the Arsenal. Guys, this is a make or break game for AIK Football Stockholm, it is against the Arsenal at the Emirates, let's go to the kickoff. Guys, players are making their way onto the pitch at the Emirates, a draw or a win. Good out for Arsenal will take them through to the next round, but AIK simply have to win here in London. They have to keep Jesus quiet, who scored two goals at the away game. Hopefully, he doesn't score another two at home. Let's go to the kickoff. Oh, what a ball! Phil is onside. He beats. He beats one defender. Shoes or oh, curls it past the keeper and also past the post. What a golden opportunity that is for AIK. Should be beating Raya. He does, does beat the keeper. Oh, long ball to Galado. He's got pace. I'm telling you. He passes on to Freak. Is Freak perfect? Is he going to score? What a save from Raya. Paddy's away for a corner. Oh, what a ball. This time is Freak. Is he going to score? 
Oh, what a save again by Raya. Sh Chavez again. Oh, he's got feel. He's still in the box, he's freak. Passes across the face of the goal and still they miss it. Guy Detsi and Ray. Oh, Raya makes the save and Arsenal live another day again. Freak has lost it to Declan Rice. Keeper comes out. Excellent save. And one more attack. No, and AIK have been eliminated. Oh no, that is absolutely harsh. They were playing the toughest team in the tournament, probably. And they were the favourites. They had the best chances, but still, the luck wasn't on their side today. Out they go of the Conference League. Martinelli has been good for Arsenal. But AIK were the better team throughout the game guys midway through the april and guess what look at the table we are still on top three games in and still unbeaten but we lost the last season last season we could have been invincible two games left and they lost both of them that's what i assume but i remember 27 games there was no defeats but here top of the table again we need to make some signings in the summer in order to improve the squad for european football Guys, players are making their way onto the pitch on what is a serious, serious rivalry here in Stockholm. Flares all over the pitch, kickoff and fights, arguments outside the pitch. AIK versus your garden sport in the capital of Sweden. But now let's focus on the 90 minutes and take three points. Oh, they have had a good start to the game and penalty has been given by the referee. That's a bit harsh. I think he might have pushed his arm, Milosevic, the captain. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, he struck his arm as he rolled up. Chance for your garden to take the lead. Keeper goes the wrong way. It was down the middle and one nil to your gardens in the 10 minutes of the game. Final result, we've been beaten 2-0 at home. Not the result we wanted. Guys, in April, and we are playing Malmo, the toughest team we play every season with the, in the Swedish football. No defeat so far this season. And in May, three wins, uh, three, two wins out of the three games, but two defeats back to back in April. Let's go check the table. Oh, we are currently second, just two goals difference behind your gardens. And you know what? We actually lost to them earlier this season. Can we turn it around? Long time to go. Yes, more than half of the season remaining. Guys, to my surprise, we are in the Champions League. Who are we playing? That is a fascinating view. So we are in the Champions League. That's absolutely great. This is the qualifying round. But who are we playing? Yeah, we're playing Cluj. Oh, I think they're the team from uh, Norway. I think they are from Norway or Belgium. Not quite sure. We're playing them in Europa, the Champions League qualifying round. Let's head off to the second game and see. Oh, we actually beaten Malmo. That is fantastic in simulation. 2-0 away from home in against Cluj. Of course, we are going to win the home game as well. Let's simulate further and see who we get in the Champions League group stages if we actually make it or oh, we've got another belgium team hopefully we beat them yes we are one three two fantastic six four victory over young boys bordeaux and uh, that is absolutely fantastic into the champions league group stages or oh, first defeat of the group stages to spaniel let's go check the table Guys, we are three points ahead and with 11 games remaining, there's Humber B who have taken their spot in your uh, garden spot in the second of the table. We really don't want your gardens to finish second. This is a rivalry in Stockholm, but for now, let's go check the Champions League group. Yeah, we've got Man City, Frankfurt and Real Sociedad. So we really need to finish in third spot in order to get into the Europa League. That is my target because Champions League, I'm not going to make it very far in Europa League. I've got a chance of going through. Guys, next game in the Champions League 
group game group stages is against Frankfurt and they are on four points in second in the table if we were to beat them we can actually climb up the table if Man City do us a favor beating Real Sociedad and with two games remaining we have to somehow get the results going our way and then we can qualify for the Europa League for the knockout stages but for now let's go and play Frankfurt in Germany I'm gonna be playing this game but both of the teams can't really have the same kits We'll have to be changing ours to black and keeping Frankfurt at white. Guys, players are making their way onto the Champions League. What a crucial night it is in Frankfurt. IIK have to really take three points and hopefully qualify for the Europa, uh, for the Europa League knockout stages. First corner of the game is Mario Gotze. They've got some. Oh, they've got a great team. Kamada. Oh, they've hit the post as well from the corner. So, so lucky. And they need luck on their side. AIK. It's Asilu Salisu. And chance for. Oh, what's a chance? Oh, what's a save from the goalkeeper again? Oh, that is a chance. That is a chance, it's still, he's got acres of pace and space and he shoots it to the net. He loves it, dings it over the keeper and it's Kevin Trapp who's been beaten 17 minutes into the game. AIK have taken the lead and it's still, he's thrilled the fans. Vincent Thill, he kind of dings it over Kevin Trapp, poor defending. Oh, again, great save by the keeper. He's keeping the side 1 0 to the good. 10 minutes to half time. Fifth corner to Frankfurt. Short one this time. Are they going to cross it in? Oh, he's running all the way back. What's he doing? Oh, they have scored. It was coming. It's the Japanese international Kamada. He scores in all level in Frankfurt here. And the final result is 3-3. What a game. Colomani got them 2-1 uh, up at uh, 5 minutes after the break. Guy Detsy scored. Freak scored with 6 minutes to go. And Broya equalised 2 minutes later. 3-3. A point apiece. Guys, into another crunching game in the Champions League group stage. This time we are at home against Espanyol. We need three points and hoping that Man City can do us a favour by beating Frankfurt. Let's go to the game. So this is my team not making any changes. Let's go to the kickoff. Guys, players are making their way onto the pitch. Uh, in snowy day in Sweden. Not very happy weather for the Spanish side. Espanol, but they'll have to play a AIK football Scotland, Stockholm in the snowy weather. And you know the Swedish and the Scandinavians, they love this weather. Hopefully they love it too much to get three points. Oh, chance it is. And so Sadiq has scored against AIK. He has lifted over the goalkeeper. Neidvig was coming out and he's done his job. Scored past him again as he did last season. Oh, crunching tackle should be a yellow card. He's on the right back. Hopefully, referee pulls out a yellow. Oh, yes, he does. That was still well deserved. I mean, Adley. Oh, he goes past everyone, but keeper's easy catch there for him. This guy, Detsy. Freak. Oh, yes! Slots it in. AIK have taken the lead here. They have turned it around. What a turn. Chavez, what a team effort that is. And Freak is on hand to slot it in. Pass the onrushing goalkeeper. 2-1 to AIK. Must win, and they are winning. And the final result is 3-3, three, three. Gallardo got the second one, he made it 3-1 and then some Nelson Samedo and Sade equalised for Espanyol and what was in the bag has been lost, they lost two vital points. Guys, next game is against Manchester City at the City Etihad Stadium in Manchester but no point playing this one because we are already out of the out of the Champions League and no we can actually get into Europa League so let's go to the game and try getting a good result out of it and see if we can actually make it to the next round let's quick sim the game oh yes we won 2-1 
against all odds freaking guy that's a got two goals for aik and calvin phillips got one back for manchester city aik are they into the europa league Oh, we just missed out on goal difference. But we have won the league again in Sweden. AIK have back-to-back -back champions, this time winning the league by a point. But in the uh, in the Champions League, we've been knocked out on goal difference to Real Sociedad actually made it into Europa League. Not the type of results. I thought they're gonna make it. A, so one team is gonna win and the other one's gonna draw, and we could have got three points, and we could have been in third position. But nevertheless, we are out of the Champions League. But we have won the league back to back, guys. Hoping that uh, we can, guys. That's it, guys. The season has ended. We are knocked out of the Champions League in the group stage, and we have won the league back to back. So that's I'm gonna call it quits here with AIK in Sweden. I'm gonna have to move on to a different club now. Two seasons done, two league titles. What more you want, Swedish fans and AIK fans? They've not won the title since 2018. So this is the first time they're winning it and they won it back to back. So AIK is a beautiful team to play with. They've got absolutely some great atmosphere flares all throughout the field, the pitch. The board is absolutely fantastic. You love to play with it. And guys, the but they're not very that much good in the European stages. They'll have to improve. But for now, I'll have to say goodbye. And thanks for watching, guys. Do subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading more FIFA content. And if you are an AIK fan, do subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.